Hi there Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soulsaurus Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for July 12th through the 31st. This is intended to be a love reading. What do you have for Sagittarius for July 12th through the 31st regarding their love? I think some of you have made some big changes. That's very exciting. I'm happy. Sagittarius, July 12th through July 31st, 2017. What do you have for Sagittarius? So whoever gets the most comments, you know, or likes or gives me the most love tends to get the readings first. Um, I forget to tell everybody though, so that's not really fair. So I've started to tell people and if I forget, I apologize. But um, yeah, so if, if you are a regular watcher of mine, just know that the people that get me the most love um, typically get to the top of the list the next time. It's just the way it is. Um, I feel like they're the ones that appreciate me the most, and you know. This is for Sagittarius. Ooh, end of a difficult situation. Thank you, Lord. Perhaps a split is on the horizon. I think it has been for a while now. looks like you are not accepting some love okay it looks like you're not accepting some kind of love perhaps you don't want to have anything to do with it anymore um, and maybe it's inhibiting you maybe you're stuck in a current situation that is not allowing you to accept love from someplace else I don't know something is going on that you are not aware of um, or has been going on that you are not aware of this is for July 12th through the um, 31st. So right around, well today's the 12th, so right around today, perhaps something is going to come to light that it was a secret, you know, a secret might become known. Um, that's probably today, or you know, when you first watch this reading. So this is, um, then, you know, this. Uh, there's something going on behind the scenes, okay? And all of a sudden, perhaps, it, you become made aware of it. And it's actually a good thing that this happened because it makes you start to feel better about the decision that you've made. It makes you feel like, phew, wow. I feel great. I got that off my shoulders. Uh, you know, now I can breathe. That's a huge relief. I'm not holding this in anymore. I feel great. Okay? There's no more secrets. The secret is out. Okay? And the burdens are being lifted because you don't have to carry that around anymore. All right? <clears throat> You've, um... You've took a stand. That's what I see. You have taken a stand. Congratulations. Um, I 
looks like you could be um that's you up there that leo aries uh, sagittarius right in the middle um i'm just putting all these cards together real quick you're feeling good about yourself that's that's great you are you're feeling like you, your self-worth has shot up a notch which is great i'm really happy about that um it looks like finally you're making headway okay you're making headway towards um becoming a team with somebody becoming a partner with somebody finally you might be getting closer to that it's an end of being alone it's the end of a difficult situation even if you weren't alone and you're breaking it off with somebody it's the end of feeling alone okay um you know i do think that things are going to start to balance out throughout the month more so towards the end of the month because i think you're going through some kind of split with somebody because um, here we have this split um, and it's regarding love I think that it's it's been inhibiting you it's been inhibiting you because you've been stuck here you've been stuck here so you were, haven't been able to accept uh, or give love like you want to because something has been in the way um, Is something that you have been waiting for something that you have been waiting for you've been waiting for this connection you've been waiting for this commitment all right this is an air sign uh, the uh, Libra Gemini or Aquarius um, that could be the person that you're releasing Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, because you're here. You're releasing. Here you are releasing. You you're like you know what? Uh -uh, I'm not. I'm gonna. I care about myself too much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of this load. I can't. I can't take it anymore. I'm moving on. I'm headed towards my finding somebody who wants a commitment. You know, because I want a commitment. I can't a real commitment. A commitment of unconditional love. That's what I'm trying to say. You look. That's what you want. It's unconditional love, and I think the that um, the end of not finding it is near, put it that way. Um, your prayers have been answered. Yes, sir. Yep, your prayers are, or they are going to be answered very, very soon. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. three, three. If you were to look up three, three, three feel free <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it anyhow um, 333 three, three. your prayers have been answered that's what that means okay they have heard your prayers and they are, are working behind the scenes to get them answered okay to get you what you are looking for your thoughts become things you know your everything you they can see the universe can see who you are. It looks like this this commitment might end up being, you know, where you feel actually equal with somebody. You know, where it's not 70-30, uh, you know, or 40-60. It's actually 50-50, the relationship. I mean... It's coming together. It's working together. It's a celebration. You know, you have all... It is. It's a celebration because everything is just coming together so nicely. Okay? Have you been listening to your intuition? Has your intuition been talking to you? If not, towards the end of the month, you are going to be urged to listen to your intuition, okay? By the end of the month, you're going to be getting messages from the divine, okay? By the end, this is the end of the month, you're going to be getting messages. Are you going to be open to listening to them? Okay, because it's regarding your love life. They're going to be sending you messages. This is, a, um, this is also a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right?
you're going to be starting a new endeavor. This is a love reading, okay? So this is a new endeavor that leads you away from this, okay? It's a new endeavor that leads you towards love, okay? The end of a difficult situation, the end of a period of time where there was no commitment, where there was no relationship, I think it's the end, okay? I think you're coming to a spot where things are finally going to come to fruition, Okay, the river's going to start flowing in your direction. Because you have made some changes. I think you have spoken your mind. And and perhaps the minute you did that, these, uh, so the, the weight that was lifted on your shoulders, like, shattered. Okay, it shattered and now it can't be put back on there that fast. You know, you'd have to really build that weight back up. You'd have to get some glue and it'd probably take years to build the weight back up okay so the weight has now been shattered and you're feeling great you're feeling confident you're feeling self um worth you're feeling beautiful you're feeling like you have no shame you can just be yourself and <laughs> that's beautiful that is beautiful what do we have for romance who, what, when, where, how, right? <laughs> Who do I think this is, anyway? Hmm. Well, we have you up in the top row. It could be an air sign. You know, it definitely could be. And they come in pretty quickly. And they come in for the kill. And they come in with a lot of passion. And, um... You know, or it could this could be the person that you, you know, it could go either way. It could be the person that you have, um, you know, broken the bonds with. It could go either way, all right? Um, we also have this water sign down here. Now, these are both men or women. We don't, it doesn't really matter um, about that. But um, this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Up here, we have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I consider that you, but it could also be a potential partner as well. That helps you to um, heal. But I don't, I don't mean it could be that. I mean, this is going to resonate with so many people. And then so many people it's not going to resonate with because we're all different. And pit, bits and pieces, you know, might resonate with you and not resonate with her because... Um, it's just the way it is. There's, this is for what whoever watches. It could be 10,000 people. could be whoever. What? I don't know. Whoever. How many people watch it? So, obviously, it's not going to fit for every single person. Okay? It's going to fit for the majority, though. I think that a new discovery has come upon you. And I think it's in the form of a man or woman. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I see a new friendship. A new harmonious relationship, okay? Absolutely. A new harmonious relationship. A commitment. A commitment. Where you can be yourself. Holy shit. All because you shattered the, the load. You took a step. So when you take a step, the universe takes a step. You know what I mean? You know how that goes. This new person. Now it's not an actual honeymoon where you're going to get married. I don't see that. Okay. This is a trip where you go on vacation. You know, you go or you go for two days. But just re but keep in mind that when you, if you do this and you choose, because when you really do this, when you expand, when you enjoy the bliss of holiday time together but I was going to say when you spend time together good quality time together the cell phone can stay in the car for 
48 hours okay in the computer you might as well leave that right at home because it's not needed okay so if enjoy the bliss of holiday time together you can't do that with the cell phone and the computer just saying that ain't no honeymoon okay so not that you're gonna go on a honeymoon but a honeymoon you don't no mm -mm. bye bye you can't get to know somebody with the damn computer and the phone and the tablet and all it's, just, it's not gonna happen you're not gonna get you can't no <laughs> and see it I saw it I knew it this is the romance of a lifetime for all of you that have released something for all of you that have let go of something that was so heavy in your life you've let go of it so the universe is saying okay good job here's your reward one more just one it's an end of a difficult period of time just so you know it's the end of it keep that confidence up show your worth pretty yourself up have fun all right have fun bring out your playful side okay bring it right out you may be lost you may have lost it you need to dig it back out oh do you see it do you see that can you see it from there i don't know if you can i uh it jumped out and flipped over oh you can see it just a little that would be a true love wouldn't it and a honeymoon i mean that seems like it's too good to be true it doesn't even seem like that could be right i mean are you kidding me you guys i mean you've been waiting for this forever you've been waiting for this commitment you know, even if you're just getting out of some bullshit period, you've still been waiting for the real, true love of your life. Right? I mean, it's this could be the time. So this could be the time where you actually get some kind of confirmation that you're on the right path. Okay? This could be the time where you finally feel like your relationship has stepped it up a notch. If you are involved with somebody, you know, after a time of getting rid of something, you know, maybe your current relationship steps it up a notch because you, you feel so good about yourself. You feel so happy. You're so confident. You feel beautiful. You know, so that just um, emphasizes love even more. I mean, the more beautiful you feel, the more beauty you're going to get back. The more you love yourself, the more love you're going to get back. The situation involves marriage. I don't think you're going to get in married <laughs> at in July. I mean, you could. Some of you could. You never know. Um, but you could. You could start a commitment with the person that you will eventually marry put it that way the first step you know before you get there is to enjoy time together be friends okay be friends this is about friendship as well get the friendship going okay that's what I have for you Sagittarius I can't think of anything else, but um, this looks pretty good for you. I think that you guys are on the right path. This doesn't mean that in July you are going to all of a sudden meet somebody and you're going to fall deep in love and then go get married. No, that's not it. You know, this is a this is all pieces of what it can lead to. Okay, it's all pieces. The first step was releasing some burdens, which I think that you have started to do. And by now, by this time, this is like the, um, I'm just figuring this out. 
16th, 17th of July, you know, you're really going to really shatter it. You know what I mean? You're going to you're going to get the chisel or whatever you got to get and you're going to take off a bigger chunk, you know what I mean? If not all of it. Okay? And the more you do that, the more the universe says, "Okay, all right, so whatever it is that's holding you back goes away and that's when your uh, line to commitment comes closer. All right? This is the romance of a lifetime. That's beautiful. It could be with a fire sign, could be with an earth sign, could be with a water sign, could be with an air sign. So it could be with anybody. It could be. Whoever it's with, it's with somebody who makes you feel good. They, where you can be yourself. They don't care about what you look like. Put it that way. They don't care about how much money you have in the bank. It's somebody who fits you well. This card's just a carry on. It's just a carry on for in the future. It's after the teamwork, okay? It's after you guys be friends and become a team, a real team. Start with being friends. If friendship matters, I mean, good, good, good friends. You know, friends with benefits, whatever you want to call it. You know, but you have to be friends. I mean, really, really, really friends. So I think I've, I've, I've uh, said a lot during that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I say what comes out, and that's the way it is. So thank you for listening.